Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today we're going to be talking about the Ryzen 2700X Anniversary Edition. So if you're unfamiliar, this is a processor that has popped up on a couple benchmarking sites, uh, a couple retailers have posted it. There's a few things out there that are indicating this is a likely addition to the current series of processors, so I'm going to cover it. So first off, another thing to keep in mind is AMD's uh, 50th anniversary, May 1st, is coming pretty close. And obviously with that, we saw Intel release its 8086K, um, i7-8086K processor. And this was, of course, a higher overclocking, or a higher clocked, uh, better overclocking, higher bin um, processor that they released in a limited number of, uh, to a limited number of people. They did, like, a giveaway and stuff, and that was pretty simple. Now, while we don't have a lot of information on this processor, um, we can do a good bit of speculation, and, you know, I've got a pretty good reputation for being quite dead on in my speculation, so we're going to go over that, and I'll explain why I think of the stuff that we do. So first off, this is, of course, going to be still Zen Plus, um, a Zen Plus processor is going to have the 12 nanometer plus architecture, or uh, manufacturing uh, size, and then, of course, we're still going to have probably the 8 cores, 16 threads uh, that we've seen uh, you know, through this whole top end, uh, eight or top end processor series for the Ryzen 7s. Um, but a couple things to keep in mind, though, is what we're probably going to see different is definitely a higher clock speed. So I believe the Ryzen 2700X clocks uh, at a boost of like 4.23 or 4.3 gigahertz, and I believe the base is like 3.7. So I wouldn't be surprised to see something that as we did similar with the 8086K from Intel, to see maybe like a 3.8 gigahertz base clock and maybe a, you know, 4.4 or 4.5 clock speed increase. Now that's really pushing it, but I wouldn't be surprised to see that there. And then of course a much better overclocking headroom, because this is probably going to be the higher bend or the better bend processors. So that these will of course be better for overclocking, might even run faster. It really does depend. Now, a lot of people have raised the question, you know, like, what about the stock cooler? So, I've got to say, by far, out of every stock cooler that I've ever seen in my life, um, this is the Wraith Prism Max is by far my favorite. Um, I, I just, it's it's such a good stuff, good cooler that comes with the processor. And you can't deny that. Now, honestly, with the stuff that, the idea that this is going to be the 50th anniversary, this is already a really good cooler. I would assume that they would include it. Now, obviously, they could not because this is going to be an overclocking chip, um, but I really would expect them to put this out there. Uh, maybe even do a special design on the cooler. Uh, maybe make it, like, you know, all RGB, or I don't even know how you make that more RGB, but maybe put, like, a design on there, or 50th anniversary, or, you know, something on there that's very memorative. Maybe same thing for the processor as well. Have something along the lines of, you know, have like a special uh, heat sink on the top or a heat, dissipa heat dissipator. Um, do a lot of things on the top. Maybe do a special design on there. Um, there's a lot of things they could do for this 50th anniversary that I really think would be uh, good A for the brand and B also good for, you know, the user experience because these people are going to be buying this. It's probably going to be expecting a higher clock speed. Now another valuable thing to talk about in this video is the value of actually buying this. So if you're unfamiliar or you're under a rock, uh, Zen 2 uh, is, has a lot of promising, highly promising leaks that is going to be coming out, or at least getting announced uh, at Computex. Um, so that's like midsummer, um, or you know the shareholders meeting that's supposed to be coming up too. So there's a lot of things that are you know highly, highly indicative. Um, that we're going to be seeing the final release of this stuff coming up soon. And honestly, if you look at this, the best we could expect from this is a slight clock speed increase. And you know, if that's something that you know you're a couple you know generations behind, um, maybe you're in, you know still in Intel territory, or you know you're interested in upgrading to AMD. Not saying either one's better, but just saying you're going for that. Um, this is probably going to also, according to the retailers that are posting it. It's probably going to price it about to settle at $350. Now, is that really worth the $50 increase um, from having the standard 2700X to the, you know, anniversary edition? We really have to tell when it releases. I doubt we will see such a substantial increase that it will be worth the $50 increase. Um, but, I mean, I can't predict uh, specs. I don't know them. 
um, but I would just say that's something you should watch out for. Now, the value in upgrading um, is really dependent on what you're upgrading from, um, especially with Navi around the corner, not Navi, sorry, Zen 2, and then also Navi around the corner, supposedly, uh, we can really expect to see a good performance increase. If any of the leaks are true, um, it will definitely be a better performance increase, um, at least in single-threaded applications, supposedly, as well. So this will also be a bump in single-threaded applications, but there's also the possibility that Zen 2 will also offer a good substantial bit, especially when the majority of the processors, um, if you look at them, the leaked price, you know, prices for each of the processors, this kind of really does fall in a good spot around where the i5 or the Ryzen 5 is supposed to fall in price-wise. So this may be a good consideration, but I would also recommend just waiting the couple extra months to see what Zen 2 offers, because there are a lot of lot of promising leaks about this that I think everyone's really excited to see. So um, honestly, this processor should not be out for a couple more weeks. Um, since we're just starting to get leaks, that's usually the time frame we see that in. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, go down below. I also have a Discord server we're all talking about it on. Um, yeah, you can hop on there, talk with me, ask questions, things like that. Um, and uh, check out the channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, builds, etc. And uh, thank you. Goodbye.